<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the book club. Uh, today, I'm joined with Kenzie. Hello. And I'm so happy to be back again. Absolutely. This is, is going to be great. So, I heard that you found some interesting things on Wattpad. Oh, yes. I have found one juicy fanfic that I thought that we could that I thought that we could explore together because why not? Absolutely. Now this one is a brick x lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, and we I don't think we have ever heard of this ship before, but apparently it exists in the total drama community. It's called Want to Get to Know You, a Lightning X Brick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> dude, I can't. Dude, this thing was last updated on February 14th. That was on Valentine's Day. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some sad motherfucker oh, wrote this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Maybe this will be the best thing ever. It could be. Who knows? Alright, so introduction. Brick wants to find a way to get to know Light- Oh, shit. Brick wants to find a way to get Lightning to like him. I made this at 3 a.m. one night, and now I'm going to continue writing it, because no one's made any fanfiction of these two. I mean, they're sort of right. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I couldn't find a single Brick X reader. <laughs> so, I, gu I guess this is a start. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this isn't horrible. At least when I load up the first chapter, it doesn't seem to be like horribly written. So. Oh well, that well that's a good thing. Yep. Especially for a Wattpad fanfic. <laughs> now, do you want to do popcorn reading for this? Um. Sure. Okay. I'll I'll start. It had been the f the start of another day at the newly radioactive camp while in Aqua. Brick MacArthur, a contestant on the show, had been switched over to the Toxic Rats team a few nights prior, So and so far, he is not building the best friend friend group. Brick, if you, if you set that alarm that, that early one more time, I swear I will throw it along with you out of the window. Scott had just about enough with Brick's morning wake-up calls, and frankly, so was everyone else. Sam, Sam piped up. He's got a point, man. It's really annoying. He's got, a, he's, got a, he's got a point, man. It's really annoying. None of us are. Oh. Sorry. Okay. I, th I thought we were doing like two and twos. Oh, no problem. I didn't know if you were reading the next part or not, but that's okay. Okay. Brick huffled as he fixed his boot laces. I apologize, cadets. But, but I really have to be up bright and early. It's part of my. Yeah, yeah, we know. Oh. Your your oh so important training. Well, some of us don't do training. Do training, Mister Drill Sarge. So why don't you just wake up later like everyone else and stop bothering us? Scott said, <laughs> venom dripping from his venom dripping from from his voice. The way he okay. the way that the stop bothering us reminds me of the fucking D W. He's like, why don't you go back to your own house and stop bothering? Right, us? and stop bothering us. That's exactly what I was getting. That, that was the exact vibes I was getting too. I mean, to be fair, Brick's alarm is basically like a normal alarm clock with like three horns, like three loud yeah, horns. <laughs> Brick had sensed the tension in the room, frowning as he went for the door. Well then. Since you guys don't seem to appreciate a decent wake-up call, I'll stop it. But I'm sure Lightning appreciates it. As an athlete and competitive con contestant, he must appreciate getting up at a decent time, he said, before leaving the room in a huff. To be honest, he actually did hope that Lightning appreciated the wake-up calls, seeing as he's always... he's o Seeing as he's always wanted to be the best at everything and being awake in the morning would be a very good time for exercising for any challenges that that happened that day that brick that and brick had a soft spot for the guy a soft, a so, soft spot <laughs> it, it almost sounded like you said soft sock or something i think i did <laughs> <laughs> he had a soft spot for the guy <laughs> yeah english is not my strongest language and it's also my only language <laughs> he seemed really cool Sure, he was a little less sharp than everyone else, 
but Burke really admired his self-confidence and optimism. And, you know, his looks weren't too bad either. Yeah, I guess. Originally, <laughs> Burke wasn't going to entertain his small crush he had on Lightning, given they were on different teams and it probably wouldn't work on. But now they're on the same team. This has to be like, like, a sign or something. Burke still felt peeved by his teammates' annoyance. While he, uh, while he understood it, Scott didn't have to be so rude. So he, fi so he figured he, he would head to the confessional and continue with the day. He reached it pretty quickly, but noticed someone has already, noticed someone was already inside, which was a bit odd. Seeing it was the morning, and really nothing could could have happened between last night and 8 a.m. But but Brick shrugged it off and waited patiently for whoever it was to get done. Okay, though it wasn't hard to guess who, who lightning. He knew he knew that voice anywhere. I'm starting to get get really sick of this new guy. Well, that's not a good thing to hear. Okay. okay. This is the third time he's woken me up during a really good dream, and I'm sick of being being up at 8 a.m. and not being able to go back to sleep. Brick frowned at the tone of Lightning's voice. He seemed generally upset and annoyed at him. The kid seems like a good guy to have on the team, but that's getting annoying. And the only It's been three days. Ugh. If Sergeant... Droopy, <laughs> droopy Joris wakes me up again. He's gonna lose the feeling in his legs for a week. Now that really ups it was really upsetting to hear. Brick bit his lips, backing away from the confessional and standing behind a tree as he watched Lightning walk out of it angrily, his feet stopping on the ground. Brick took this opportunity to run to the confessional and lock the door, panting softly as he tried to comprehend what just happened. Lightning's annoyed as hell at me. Oh shit, no. He thought, raking his a hand through his hair as he looked up at the camera installed in the outside confessional. I don't think Chris would air this, right? If I just let out how I feel about Lightning, he wouldn't, like, out me on live TV, right? Oh, he certainly would. <laughs> yeah, he absolutely would. I mean, Chris would be like, holy respect. shit, the ratings on this shit. <laughs> yep, exactly, dude. What did you expect? How would you not expect him to do that? Brick thought for less than two seconds before sighing. Eventually, he's, he'll slip and someone will notice how he's looking at Lightning. So if Chris airs it, he airs it. I can't believe that Lightning's that angry at me. I mean, I can't really blame the guy. I, I am known to be annoying to my fellow cadets at times, but he can't say Matt forever, right? It's just an early wake up, Brick said before... Thinking back to how Lightning was still holding a grudge against Anne Marie for simply calling him a blow, a blowhard. Oh God, he might be mad at me forever. He mumbled that last part, but it was still audible enough to hear. Brick held his face to his hands, unable to continue on at the moment before deciding to just spill it all out. I don't want Brick to hate me. I don't want anyone to hate me, but especially not Lightning. He's an amazing ally to have, and he has the skills to make it all the way. He's confident and charming and honestly kind of handsome. That just spilled out. Wait, that's not- I didn't mean that, like, oh, this is a train wreck, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brick mentally slapped himself on the head for making himself get sidetracked. I really like Lightning. He's funny and nice sometimes, and sure, he gets competitive, but he still works his ass off on these challenges. And he's doing so well, and I... He oh gets boy, here comes the game flush part. bright red. God, I'm <laughs> rambling on camera in a bathroom confessional. God, this is stupid. Look, the point is, I I really like Lightning, and I, I don't know what I'd do if he really hates me as much as he seems to now. Brick felt a small smile on his face before remembering Chris would be watching. Uh, Chris, I would do whatever it takes to make sure this never airs. Hell, I might sue. <laughs> Brick said before finally leaving the confessional, a huge weight seemed lifted off his shoulders. It, it felt good to get that off his chest, but he still had a bigger fish to fry, especially specifically talking to Lightning. As Brick walked off, he didn't notice the red hair listening to his rambles in the conf- Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Chris might not air that, but I can do something similar, Scott said with a smirk. Going into confessional with his shark tooth in hand, he's gonna break the camera! <laughs> oh no! 
What the uh, fuck, Scott? Dude, Scott, what is wrong with you? I don't know how anyone likes Scott. Scott's an ass. <laughs> right. Asking for advice. Oh my Scott. god. Yeah, I know Scott's like an asshole, and like he's always trying to like yeah. get people eliminated off his team. But like, come on, man. I don't think someone's kind right? of kind of mean. <laughs> That's a little, that's a little <laughs> far. Dude, this is gonna be like that. Do you remember? It, it was circling around. It was a clip from Survivor, I think, and it was this dude like outing someone for being trans, and everyone was like, "Why the fuck would you say yeah, yeah, that?" Yeah, I do this is gonna be that. like that. <laughs> that was no. That was so wrong. Dude, this is gonna be oh, like no. that. <laughs> oh no! I hope not. Oh. That would be horrible. Yeah. Oh God. Uh. Oh no. Brick, Brick walked back to the toxic, rex ca toxic rat's cabin, rubbing his neck as he thought. Okay, okay. Just go up to him. Apologize. Maybe talk then leave. Simple. Easy. I'm doomed. <laughs> he thought as he opened the door <laughs> to the cabin. Oh, Sam, you're still here. Brick stated as he saw Sam sitting in, in his bed with his game console. I thought, you ha I thought you'd be hanging outside and... Not much to do out here, Brick. Sam said suddenly. I would be trying to talk to Dakota, but she's busy working for Chris right now, so... Rick nodded in understanding. He knew Sam really liked Dakota. He he could kind of understand why why would just be in in here at, uh, in here nah, in here instead at, oh, out there. Yeah, that's I difficult. See. <laughs> <laughs> I see, Rick said, looking around before sitting on his bed. Sam, can I ask her some advice? He asked hesitantly. About what? Spells? Arm armor classes? Special attacks? Special attacks? What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, it could be. Maybe that's what he's playing right now. Maybe that's what he's playing right now in his Game Boy. He's like, oh, you trying to beat the first gym? No, no problem, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Brick Bleak. What? No, not gaming advice. I'm a, I'm an advice for dating. <laughs> Bro, why would you? His eyebrows raised. Dating? Wait, dating? Why would you ask Sam for dating advice? <laughs> what? I don't mean to be Sam rude, but that's not my first advice. choice. <laughs> I I am so confused on what is going on here. Why are you asking him for dating advice, dude? <laughs> I guess there's not a lot of options of people to talk to, but man, you you don't gotta think that low. Yeah, like, he sure tried. Yeah, you think I have any advice on dating? Brick, Brick frowned. Oh come on, Sam, you you've been on a date before. Sam blushed. Yeah, and and you all and you all know that you all know how that turned out. He said, referring a few weeks. Referring a few weeks ago during the truth or dunk challenge, Rick rubbed his arm. Okay, yeah. But I can't ask anyone else here, Sam. I don't trust Scott within an inch of my life. Mike's a good kid, but he's not going to understand my situation. Cameron's never <laughs> dated anyone before, and Lightning... He stopped himself, biting his lip. Well, Lightning's... Lightning's what? Too arrogant? Rick flinched at Sam's oh. question. No, he's just... Uh... I, I just can't ask him. He's the one person I absolutely cannot ask. Sam held <laughs> up his hands defensively, s sending down his console. All right, God. I get it, he said, huffing. Jeez, Brick, why so defensive? If, if, I did, if I didn't know any better, I'd say if you got a thing for lightning. This made Brick practically stop, breath stop breathing. <laughs> okay, is he dead now? <laughs> he's like, I'm, he's like suffocating breathing. himself. <laughs> Right, he's just suffocating himself. <laughs> just so when he meant when he mentioned <laughs> lightning, he kept his eye, he kept his eyes on the ground, trying to try to think of a way to lead the conversation away from the topic. Sam lifted an eyebrow at Brick's silence, taking a minute before a look of realization hit him. Uh, I, I don't have uh uh. Oh, holy shit! You do, don't you? Lightning. Lightning? Lightning? Sam asked, <laughs> Sam asked his disbelief before, me, before immediately seeing Brick just fall, fall to his knees. 
<laughs> what the fuck, Sam, Rick? I will, pay, I will pay you anything not for, for you not to tell anyone about this. I'm begging here. Bro, he's literally getting down on his knees. <laughs> oh, that's not a good fit for you, Brick. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Um, indeed, um, you're telling me- Absolutely. I'm getting, like, secondhand embarrassment from this shit. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Brick, calm down. Jeez. I'm not gonna tell. That's just messed up. You're not- No, of course I'm not. What the hell? And why would I? What do I have to gain from that? Sam had a point. But letting that information slip about Brooke to everyone would just make Sam look bad and, and get him voted off. Honestly, Sam Sam doesn't even seem like the type to do that. Brooke frowned softly before standing back up. You got a point. Sorry. I was just... I mean, this isn't normally seen as normal where I'm from. Sorry. Aww. Sam sighed, standing up with Brick. Look, Brick, I have no experience with... I have no experience with guys, and, and not even any real experience with girls. But I think that, in all honesty, you should just talk to him. Brick flinched. Are Are you insane? My <laughs> name hates me right now. I just can't. I can't just talk to him. Sam groaned. That's exactly why. That's exactly why you should talk to him. What else can you do? Just go to the entire. Just. Just go the entire time without ever talking to him. Until one of you is booted out and back home? I could I could always find his email. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Brick. I er I can just find his email address and then I just send him an email. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam's confessional. It's kinda weird that Brick wanted my help with getting the closer lightning, given that I'm not most athletic or handsome or even charming. But the guy needs help, and I just need to try my best with this one. Okay, Brickhouse, repeat back to me what you're going to do. Sam has spent a good 20 minutes trying to get Brick to at least plan a way to talk to Lightning without messing anything up. But it was tougher than he thought. Brick sighed. Okay, I'm going to go up to him. Uh-huh, good. Start a nice, normal, and not weird conversation. And you're not going to what? Brick groaned. I'm not going to just talk about training or going on big rants about said training. <laughs> Sam nodded. <laughs> See, you're learning, which is good, he sighed. Now, now you don't have to worry for a while. Lightning went to the lake to cool off and probably raced the fish or something like that. Hey, now, that's be a bit nicer. He's being competitive, which is what one are, uh... Which is when you're uh, our team, the last challenge. Sam frowned. Yeah, I guess you're right, but still, he's so cocky and arrogant. I honestly don't know what you see in him. Frick frowned. Lightning could be annoyingly arrogant and oblivious to other people around him, but Brick knew that he probably had a reason for it, and so he couldn't really hate him for those traits. Not at all, actually. Besides, it's a little cute to see how confident Lightning is to his abilities. Brick wishes that he had that sort of confidence. We'll just have to live with those traits for the time being, Brick stated as Sam just rolled his eyes. You're just saying that because you like him. Maybe. Maybe not, Brick retorted jokingly. Sam chuckled softly. Suddenly, a metal screeching sound was heard over the microphone in the middle of the cabin grounds. Brick and Sam covered their ears as they... Heard the familiar psychopath's voice over the speakers. <laughs> Good morning, campers. Today, I have not decided to go easy on you guys, since you've all been so good. Totally not because Chef and I have plans to do something, something way from you sorry dorks. So today, you have the day off to do whatever you want. As long as it isn't illegal, have fun. <laughs> the microphone cut off with a screech. Brick rose a brow, placing his hands over his hips. Huh, odd. Lots like, looks like we have the f like a free day. Sam nodded before smirking. Which gives you all the time you need to go out and win Lightning's heart. Sam said as he 
started to push Brick out the door, much to the military kid's surprise. Wait, now? But you just said that was before I knew we had a day off. And I'm not going to let you sit in this room all day doing drills or something. Go talk to Lightning, Sam said sternly, opening the door for Brick. Brick frowned, holding onto the door frame as Sam tried to push him out. I don't know, Sam. Really, maybe we should... Hey, Brick, Sam. A nervous voice called a few feet away. Mike and Zoe had made their way over to the two toxic rat members with small smiles. Joe and Maria found some old VHS player in Chef's equipment room. We're going to see if there's any movies or anything in there and watch them together. You want to join us? Zoe asked nicely, a small smile on her face. It'll be fun. A nice way to relax after all that's happened, Mike said. Brick looked over at Sam. Maybe Lightning will be there, Sam said quietly, causing Brick to turn a light red before he cleared his throat. Um, uh, yes, sure. I'll join you guys. He said softly, walking down the stairs before noticing Sam going back inside. Sam, hey, get out there here. You're not going you're not gonna stay here either. Sam groaned. Oh come on, why can't why should I go? Brick thought for a moment before smiling and walking back up to him. Dakota might be there. Seeing how it's a free day and Chris and Chef are gone, she'll have the day off. Sam blinked at this before grabbing his Game Boy and smiling with a blush on his face. Yeah, of course, I'll totally join you guys of my own free will, yep. Brick chuck chuckled at Sam's suddenly enthusiasm, walking with Mike and Zoe into the mess hall. This, that was a nice chapter. Yes, it definitely was. <laughs> that was that was decent. I, I don't know what Scott's gonna do. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> Same. Sam and Mike talk for a bit. Being a few steps behind Zoe and Brick as they walked, Zo Zoe looked over at Brick. Psst, Brick, she whispered. She she whispered, getting the taller male's attention. How's it going with Lightning? Are you doing okay? Brick Brick bristled. Brick bristled a little, fit fiddling his dog tag. So Zoe Zoe found out about Brick Brick liking liking Lightning pretty easily. Brick acted the same around Lightning the way the way she did around Mike, so she could easily put. Put two and two together. Even if they weren't on the same team anymore, she still wanted to help out the military boy. Brick sighed. Ki kinda. He, he, he's mad at me at the moment. My alarm keeps waking w waking up everyone, and he's getting real sick of it. Zoe frowned at Brick's words, patting his shoulder. It'll be okay, Brick. He can't be angry forever. And hey, if it, hey, if he is, then maybe you shouldn't shouldn't date shouldn't date that kind of guy. Oh, that was Brick nice advice. Softly as they reached the mess hall. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Zoe. Don't mention it. Ha ha have you told anyone else? Brick, Brick frowned. Just Sam, but that's it. He's been trying to give me some advice. He was he whispered as as they walked in. Well, that's good. I I don't know much about Sam, but but if you think he's trustworthy, I believe you. Brick Brick sighed softly, smiling at Zoe before a fork has a fork was thrown. At, at his head. Ow, hey! Very loud laughter boomed throughout the mess hall. The, per the person making the noise standing beside, beside Anne Maria. Oh, oh, come on, Joe. Don't, don't do brick like that, Anne Maria whined, spray, spraying her, spraying her, ha her hair down with another bottle of hairspray. Joe rolled her eyes. Set, setting down the other utensils was about, w w was about to throw. Fine, fine. I'll, I'll even be for now. Ow! Joe Joe cried out as Anne Maria hit her over the head with her spray bottle. <laughs> you'll 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 even be. Period, Missy. She said cheekily. Brick laughed softly, wa walking over to Anne Maria. Thank you, Cadet. He said as he saluted. Anne Maria smiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank me later. Y y'all bean pole. <laughs> She laughed while Joe rolled her eyes again, leaning back against the wall. So, so did you guys find any tapes? Z Z Zoe asked Don, uh, who, who had who had been sitting on a table, meditating. Don shook her head. I couldn't find anything, except a broken copy of Bloodbath Two. So, 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 summer camp, summer camp Reign of Terror. She said, show, showing a broken VHS 
Z Zoe Hump. Well, well, that's not well, that's not good. What are we gonna watch? Oh then? my God! We got some catch. <laughs> Scott called out at, at, as he entered the mess hall, holding a VHS in his hand. Ooh, it's my got boy. it's got no name on it, but I'm sure it'll be something entertaining. Scott st Scott sounded so sure. E even kind of co even kind of cocky. But Brick didn't bother. But Brick didn't bother to notice. G given he was headed over to talk to the one person he really came here for. Oh no, Scott! Oh, what a bitch! <laughs> right? Do 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 I feel bad for what I'm about to do? No, not really. Will it be funny? Oh, absolutely! Oh no! Scott. What a what, what a bitch! Know? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Greetings, fellow teammate, Cameron. Are you doing okay? He asked optimis uh, optimistically, hoping that his sweating wasn't too obvious. <laughs> at the moment, Lightning has been sitting at the table with Cameron, the smaller boy obviously attempting to get out of the conversation until Brick showed up. Oh, hey Brick. Uh, I'm doing- I'm doing alright. What's up? Cameron asked. Oh, nothing much. I wanted to talk- talk to- to Lightning for a moment. Lightning turned to look at Brick. The expression turned sour upon <laughs> upon looking at the shorter man before standing. Lightning shall leaving. <laughs> hey, no, you aren't going to walk away from me in the middle in the middle of this conversation. Lightning Brick said as Lightning attempted to leave, and Cameron left to talk to Mike and Zoe. He held onto Lightning's arm firmly. Hey, let go! Li Lightning's got more important things to do. Lightning said, pull pulling at at Brick's grasp. Well, Lightning's going to listen up. Then, Brick said gruffly, his military training background shining, shining through before he f he flushed at his tone. Uh, please, he added. Look, I get it. You're mad at me for waking you up for the past week. I get it. It's annoying. And you shouldn't have to deal to deal with it all the time. Brick started feeling feeling lightning, get giving up on trying to leave. I want to say I'm sorry, okay? Brick Brick said confidently. Or as Competently as he should. Uh, uh, about wait about waking you and the group up up real real early. I don't I don't really I don't really like when I make people upset and I really don't like making you upset, especially not with you being such a valuable asset to the team. So brick brick bit his lip. <laughs> I if there's anything, I can I can go to make to make up for it. Tell me. Lightning blinked down at Brick, frowning. He sighed. Fine, I, I guess I, I forgive you. I forgive you. Don't don't feel too bad. Don't feel too bad. Lightning gets it. You 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 you've got you got your quote unquote training, business and stuff. And light and lightning can respect that. Lightning's confessional. Man, apologizing is weird. Lightning doesn't apologize to anyone. He doesn't need to, unless, you know, make Brick feel better. I kind of- I was kind of mean to him, uh, well, uh, he could be a good help to challenges. Gotta keep him on Lightning's good side, which is all sides. Shabam! <laughs> Brick smiled. Good, I'm glad we worked this out. He smiled happily as he pat Lightning on the shoulders. So, how has your day been? Brick asked nervously, wanting to start a conversation. Lightning chuckled softly for his face flushed a darker color and he went back to frowning. It's been fine. Went and swam in the lake for a bit before getting chased out by a mutant shark thing. Lightning said with a shiver. I can see why Scott's so freaked out by it. Brick chuckled softly. Oh, what? A strong lightning can't take on that thing? He asked jokingly, surprised that when he got a smile and chuckle out of lightning. Ha! No one's that sh crazy. Not even the sh lightning. Lightning said confidently, rubbing the back of his neck. I'd rather not get killed by yet. I haven't even had a partner yet. Brick blinked at this, smiling. You don't have a partner already? He asked before his face flushed pink. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I'm just shocked. That's all. Like, uh, like a girlfriend or something? Smooth, Brick. Real smooth. <laughs> or something, yeah. Then he responded with this blush on his face, which was a very new s sight to Brick. Haven't even had my first kiss yet. 
but but don't tell anyone that, okay? Learning as before getting a nod from Brick. Safe or safe with me, cadet, Brick said with a salute. Lightning looked at Brick for a moment for smiling and wrapping an arm around his shoulder. You all right, you weirdo. Lightning said softly, ruffling Brick's short hair. Brick chuckled, his face practically a, red, a bright red as he looked around for a moment. Zoe, Mike, and Cameron were laughing together. Sam was with Dakota, but he was locking eyes with Brick and gave him a thumbs up. Brick smiled and thought his as he thought, his face turning red. Hey, uh, Lightning, you can say no to this, of course, but I was wondering if, um, if you'd like to... Get in your seats, guys. I'm about to put in the tape. Scott called out, a smirk on his face. Brick frowned before Lightning chuckled. You can ask me during the movie if it's that boring. Come on, let's go take a seat. I don't want them to go take a seat. <laughs> yes, please. Don't. Seat. <laughs> please, no. no. I've, I, this is actually pretty good. I thought this would be garbage, but this is actually Honestly, like yeah. decent, decently. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty decent, honestly. I mean, it's not like those like cringy, anime like you know fanfics that a lot of Watt patterns mm -hmm. use. So like, yeah. At least it seems like they got the personalities of these two right. You know, it didn't like they That's just true. water washed them. <laughs> so. Yeah, right. They, they just made them completely like out of character i'm surprised dawn's still here <laughs> yeah brick rubbed at the back of his neck as he sat beside lightning the tape the table where, where they were sitting that at, they were sitting at included joe joe and maria and don who at the moment was looking suspiciously at scott something the matter don brick asked brick asked softly fiddle, fiddling his dog tags she hummed in response <laughs> Scott's up to something. His aura has a negative purple energy to it. Is that bad? And Maria asked. Really bad. Maybe we shouldn't watch this movie he found. And, and, and Maria shrugged. Scott, Scott all, Scott's always up to something. Who knows what's going to happen around him? She, she sprayed her hair down some more. He probably found some dumb horror flick and wants, and wants to scare us. Br Brick's nose wrinkled, wrinkled at that. You better not, he huffed, earning a small laugh from Lightning. Hey, if you piss your, if you piss your pants, I'll vote for you, <laughs> Light Lightning joke. In, in, turn, in turn, earning a stern yet soft look from, from, big, from Brick before Dawn spoke up again. Brick, you and Lightning are practically shining with positive red energy. Something good happened? Brick, Brick felt like his heart stopped for, for, a, split, for a split second. Holding up a hand to his mouth before clearing his throat. Lightning also seemed a little uncomfortable, but for reasons Brick threw not. Brick knew not. Why did I say threw not? <laughs> I probably would have read it like that too. <laughs> I said threw not. Okay. He threw not. Oh, oh no. Oh no, <laughs> nothing. We, uh, Brick thought for a second. We're just on, we're just on better terms now. That's all. Brick tilted her head to the side before nodding in understanding. Ah, I see. Okay, then. Brick sighed softly. He, he knew Duncan had some kind of weird ability to see auras. And somehow somehow, and somehow know that Br Brick was teased a, a, a lot as a kid. So, so she most likely knew about his crush on Lightning. But, but he trusted her as well. Seeing, seeing as she posed no threat to anyone, really. That, and she was very nice to almost everyone. All right, all right, guys, Scott said, stand, standing from his seat beside Sam. So, so, you, so you all know that that I found this VHS. I found it near McLean, McLean's video tent. So maybe it'll, it'll be something fun. He said, he said smirking as he tur turned around and put the VHS inside the VHS, a VHS player. I present to you, he he started, watching as a, as the screen buzzed for a minute before showing a clear p picture of lightning inside confessional bathroom. Oh, oh shoot! No, Scott, you can't out two men, dude. No. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Scott, no! Oh wow! Confessional footage. How interesting, Scott said. 
His tone, his tone off putting. Brick felt his heart stopped. He, he, his gaze stuck to the TV as it continued to play. Everyone else, everyone else, else seemed to, to perk up a bit, either at the prospect of getting, getting to hear their fellow competitors fill their guts, or, or, or an annoyance at, at as most confe confessional confessions were. Full of private information. Uh, Scott, maybe we shouldn't, Mike started, before getting interrupted by Joe. Nah, no, no. I want to see what pe I want to see what people are saying, she hissed. The scene was incredibly familiar to Lightning and Brick. It was an entire confession from this morning, right from when Lightning entered. Light Lightning himself grimaced as he watched himself. As he watched himself bad talk brick on the TV. Oh no! <laughs> Shot dang! I was being a huge jerk, huh, Brick? He mumbled, elbowing, el el elbowing Brick's arm gently, but getting no response. Brick, oh. you good? Oh no! Oh, he Scott. knows. He oh, knows. <laughs> oh no! This is not. This is not looking good. Well, Scott's a dick. <laughs> What? Right? Oh my gosh! Like, why you do this? He's like, damn, no. if, if I was in that confessional next, oh my god, everyone's gonna know! <laughs> right? No, no, Brick mumbled to himself, slump slumping in his seat. Beside him, light Lightning looked confused as he looked back at the screen. Dawn looked between Dawn and- Dawn looked between Scott and Brick before her expression settled on fear. Scott! Maybe we really can't, can't it, nature lover, nature lover. We're trying to hear. The video continued, exactly as it happened this morning. Brick himself slumped more and more into his seat. Oh no, poor baby. So leaving a decent person and Brick's friend noticed quickly. Scott, turn this off. This is a breach of privacy. So he yelled as Scott, as Scott ve ve that, the, that the remote wasn't working. I'm I'm trying, honest. The remote's on the fritz. <laughs> what a fucking liar. <laughs> Do you want you me are to so lying? You are such a freaking liar. Do you like... want me to continue for the rest of this? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Man, I fucking hate Scott. <laughs> He's an <Right>? asshole. <laughs> you, you little bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want Lightning to hate me. I don't want anyone to hate me, but especially not Lightning. He's an amazing ally to have, and he has skills that make to make it all the way. He's confident and charming and kind of handsome. Wait, that's not what I... It, I didn't mean to like... This is a train wreck, Jesus Christ. <laughs> His brick's stomach felt like it was full of solid concrete. His face, a red mess. I can't stay here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I need to leave here. I need to leave... Scott, we mean it. Turn it off. Joe yelled. Whoops, it seems like the tape's stuck. Scott smirked to himself as he banged a hand against the TV. Scott, you look what a bitch. God, oh my god. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Brick's mind was practically racing before. I really like Lightning. He's funny and nice sometimes, and sure, he's competitive, but he still works his ass off on these challenges, and he's doing so well, and I... God, I'm rambling on the camera in the bathroom confessional. God, this is stupid. Look, the point is, I, um, I really like Lightning, and I, I don't know what to do if he really hates me as much as he seems to now. Lightning felt his face turn bright red at this, his eyes wide as he let the information sink in. He wasn't given long considering joe practically tackled scott to get him to turn off the video <laughs> turn it off you you dirt eating asshole scott crawled away only for mike to quickly grab the remote turning off the tv as karen went up and grabbed the tape what the hell is the matter with you scott aunt maria asked joe standing up and dragging scott by the feet why the fuck would you do that <laughs> i've seen a lot of messed stuff messed up stuff but what just happened? Brick was basically added to everyone. Dirty boys, luckily, dirty boys, lucky I don't scrub, curb stomp him. I don't know why I thought this would scrub. <laughs> I knew that Scott was up to something. I just wish I was. There were something less extreme like this. Poor Brick. He looks so mortified. 
Hey, don't get mad at me. I just try to get the tape out. Scott hissed. How, how was I supposed to know what was on it, Sergeant Pisspants? It was Sergeant Pisspants' personal junk. Scott lied before getting a punch in the arm from Aunt Maria. Ow! This confessional footage dipshit. It's full of people's personal junk. She hissed. You deserve that and more after what you've done, you little... Guys? Sam finally spoke up. Where did Brick go? They all looked around, seeing that Brick was nowhere in sight. He must have left while this little asshole was playing the video, Joe muttered. Again, not my fault. It was not my fault that he was such a baby about. Scott didn't get to finish the sentence before he got a solid kick in the groin from lightning, making him double over as he hissed in pain. Lightning frowned down at Scott before sighing before looking at Sam. Can you help me look for him? Scott's such a... At least they were like, dude, that is so messed up. <laughs> at least they did that for him. Dude, that shit was fucked up. <laughs> that really was. Like, Scott, how dare you? Oh my gosh. Yo. At, at least they all stood up for them, you know? That's true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Scott, that was horrible. Oh, at least he's getting his, like, he got his ass kicked for it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was the smartest thing Scott's done. <laughs> right. It was starting to worry Don just how long they had been out searching. They, they looked around the mess hall, the elimination campfire, the beach, in both cabins, and both girls and boys' sides. They even searched Chris's camera tent. Nothing. That, that, that really only one last pop possibility. Brick, Brick! Brick, Brick, come on back! Sam crawled as as he and Don walked together. Now we got confessional Sam. Il Il I'll be honest, I'm worried for the guy. Brick's petrified of the dark, but, but he chose to hide in the woods. He must have been totally freaked. What's, what Scott did must have, must have really messed him up. So I mean, so I mean, can you blame him? Brick, are you out there? Don called out, put flashlight in her hand. Yo, yo, Brick House, we're, we're just worried about you. Come on back, Sam sighed. We're never going to find him. It's too dark out there. Maybe we should search the beach again. Don, Don, fr Don frowned about to speak before Joe popped out behind the tree. We already searched here twice. This is the only place where he could where he could be, Joe growled. She, she hated to admit it. But, but but even though they were on different teams now, she was worried about the military boy as well. What Scott did wasn't cruel to any standards, not even hers. And if we don't and if we don't find him, McLean will probably have to have to look for him as a stupid challenge. And, and then he's gonna wish he, he stayed missing. But but she still needed to keep a reputation. Don sighed. I know you're worried as well. But but we'll find him. Maybe lightning maybe lightning's Search is going better. Lightning search was was not going much better. <laughs> when, when, when they decided to check the woods, lightning, lightning opted to stick by himself to find Brick. Said something about about him being so fast. He'll he'll find him in. Show show five minutes tops. To, to be to be honest, it, it it was it was more so the hope he could talk he, he could talk to Brick alone when he found him. What Brick said on the tape, what Brick said on the tape, was that actually how he felt? He he could have been playing it up for the drama. It's not it's not unusual to think he could be making a fake making a fake crush just for some extra drama and ratings. Lightning squished that thought that, that thought at the memory of Brick's expression when he saw the tape being played. He looked horrified, like like Scott had just unleashed something something to no one no one should ever no one should ever know. Well, well, I, well, I guess he kind of did. God, light, lightning's gonna wish, wish squash Scott when I, when I get the chance. If that tape was actually how he felt about lightning, then lightning's stalks were cut off at the sound of sniffing. A quick turn on his, a, a quick turn of his head, and there he was. Br Brick was okay. He was fine, except he wasn't. He's crying. He's sobbing. He sounds horrible. Brick, lightning asked softly, Br Brick seeming to not to not hear him from his spot on the forest floor. 
he didn't want to scare him anymore. He could run off again. Brick, hey, Brick, it's me. You, you're all right? Brick, Brick said softly as he walked up to the boy and, and, and crouched down. It's me, Lightning. It's all. Brick's head snapped up. His eyes, his eyes wide as tears flowed free, freely down his cheeks. Poor Lightning. Poor Brick, man. I feel so bad. Scott's an ass. <laughs> I know. He's such an ass. Like, poor Brick. My, like, how dare you do this to my boy, Brick? Like, come on, man. Bro, we're just trying to make friends. <laughs> exactly. Dude, I'm so... So my boy's so dirty like that. I mean, this is a pattern for Scott. Like, when, when he got revealed that, like... Like, Mike likes Zoe and everything. He used that as blackmail and shit like that. That is so true. That is true, though. So, it makes sense. But still, yeah. it's so fucked up. Dude, that's a pattern for a lot of the villains in, like, Total Drama. Like, if someone gets a crush, you're like, uh-uh. No way. No. <laughs> that is true. Hey, lightning. He, lightning, he mumbled quietly. Lightning frowned at, at the reaction for a second. Holding his hands out at, at, as if... As if to show Brick that, that that he was the only one out there. Yeah, yeah, man, it's me, Lightning said softly. Y Yasha ran off before anyone could talk to you, man. We got worried. Brick's eyebrows furrowed, his eyes watering down at, at his lower lip quivering. It, it, ju it, just seemed to, it just seemed to make him even more sad. I'm, he sniffled. I didn't, I didn't mean to make you guys worry. Honest, I'm sorry. Lightning, lightning wasn't very good with 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 people when when they were crying. S s sadness was the one emotion he truly had no idea how how to process e how to process with himself, M much less anyone else. Yeah, yeah, seems reasonable. Yeah, he's pretty reasonable for lightning. So th so this situation is completely out of his comfort zone. It's it's okay. It's all right, Brick. Lightning said. Moving to sit beside, beside Brick, his knee almost touch, touching Brick's thigh. We we were just worried, but it's fine. But it's but it's fine. Not 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 your fault. Not your fault. Scott was being. I don't want to talk about Scott. Lightning flinch. Lightning flinch at the sudden yell. Before suddenly feeling so quiet, so quiet. The outburst. The outburst seemed to even shock Brick for a moment. His eyes wide, wide before he sniffled again. I just. I don't want to talk about Scott. I don't even want to think about what what happened right now. Brick cried softly, his hands grip, gripping his head as he as he tried to think think the haze and and look through the tears. I'm sorry, but I don't. I'm sorry. Damn, poor Brick. It's what? kind of sad. Yeah, th I mean, this is this is very in character. I feel like this this could have happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think this is absolutely in character. Like. This is actually very well written. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised me too. I thought this would be like a shit post. <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's actually like a good story. Like we're getting like the angst. We're getting like the fluff and like the whole angst and everything. Absolutely. Like, oh, this shit is great. <laughs> it really is. I'm adding this to my favorites. <laughs> like, Lightning blinked at the shorter boy. L looking down at the ground as he tried to think. Okay, he, he, he doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk about Scott and Tate. Okay, that's out of question. That's out of the question. He he thought his eyebrows furrowing. Oh 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 yeah. Okay, lightning started. We don't have to talk about him. Who, who even cares about him right now? Anyway, he said, nervous chuckle falling from his lips. Um. Uh. We could. Lightning frown frowned before his face lit up w with an idea. Hey, uh, you want you wanted to know about my day earlier, right? He asked. He asked Brick, inter internally cheering, cheering when Brick turned his fa face to look at him. Well, well, I, I, I didn't tell you shit everything, so uh, I could talk about that. Light Lightning said with a smile. You can uh, ch chime in when you want if you want to. Knows your pressure or anything. He smiled nervously, watching Brick with worry swimming in his eyes. After what felt like an hour of Brick, a Brick's staring into his eyes, Light Lightning caught Lightning caught his briefest of of nods with the military boy. L Lightning smiled. Okay, so uh, 
This morning after I woke up, I bumped into Zoe and Creep and Creepy. I mean, uh, Don, Don while running around the beach. <laughs> they they were looking around for for sh for sh 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 shells <laughs> or something. I think. At least that's what Zoe said. But Don looked like she, w but Don looked like she was sleeping. But but she was sitting up. So lightning doesn't want. So lightning doesn't think she was. <laughs> He doesn't understand the concept of meditation. <laughs> right. <laughs> lightning spoke. Lightning spoke for a while. For a while longer, explaining while he, explaining how he, Zoe, and Don spoke for a bit. How he tried and failed to snatch some information on the other team until Joe found him. And 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 hit him over the head with her bag. Even even, even down to what he was talking to Cameron about before Britt came up. All light, all lightning said was that, was that he should pick up on lightning's own, uh, lightning's own workout routine. Lightning, lightning said with confidence. I don't know why, why he got, why he got so shit bothered by it. He, he, he needs to build up mass. He's the size, <laughs> the size of a twig. Lightning huff. As Brick let, as Brick, Brick let out a wet shackle, wet shackle, wiping his, wiping his face with his hands. Lightning blinked before smiling. Brick seemed Brick seemed calmer. He he was obviously still a little upset, but he didn't look but he didn't look looked ready to cry at the drop of a hat. Lightning smiled. I'm just serious. You were on his team before. How how did he survive these past three weeks? <laughs> Brick smiled softly. A lot of homework. A lot nah, a lot of teamwork. Honestly, I said homework. I mean, he he probably did do a lot of homework. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if his mother was just like, "All right, while you're at this camp, you gotta catch up on like your your summer reading. So here's some yep. assignments to do." <laughs> yep. <laughs> he said shakily. He said shakily. I'm shocked he wasn't broke. I'm shocked he hasn't broken anything yet. Rick smirked. Well, nothing except his pride. Lightning, squ lightning squawked at a high pitched laugh, covering his mouth in embarrassment and to cover the rest of his giggling. I didn't. Huh. I didn't think I didn't think think he could say stuff like that. Lightning laughed. Brick's own face turning a shade of red. Hey, hey, it's not an insult. I'm just making, I'm just making a, a blatant statement. Brick, Brick defended, er, earning an eye roll from from the overachiever beside him. Uh huh. Sh sure. Lightning smirked, leaning in a bit closer. Didn't think Mr. Goody Two Boots could be so rude. <laughs> Okay, the writing on this is honestly really good. Like, this yeah. so character is lightning. I love it. This is so fucking adorable. Why couldn't this be in the goddamn show, you know? It honestly <laughs> is. Like, <laughs> it honestly is. I like how they're not making them just, like, gay for the sake of being gay, but they're actually giving them, like, some chemistry here. Yeah. And I love it. This I was love so it. nice. It's really good. I'm honestly so surprised. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. Me either. I really thought this was going to be the biggest shit post ever. Yes! Like, bad writing. Just, like, gay to just be gay, you know? Just, just, just be gay, exactly. I thought, I thought this would be, like, have, like, a sex scene in there somewhere, but this is actually super nice this to read. This is actually really good. <laughs> Do you want me to take over now? Sure. Okay, let's see. So you could, okay. I'll, I'll have you know, I am a delight to be around. Thank you very much. Brick defended his unibrow froed in a fake angry skull as he also leaned closer. I'm sure you're a, a hoot at parties, huh, Brickhouse? I would be if I actually went to one, Brick says, his, his face flushed pink. Which I do all the time, actually. He said, very obviously lying, which Lightning miraculously caught on to. Well then, I guess Lightning's gonna have to take you on to sh find out myself, huh? Lightning smirked, laughing as Brick Brick's face became a brand new shade of red as he sputtered for an answer. Brick sat in petite fake ander, pank pouting before his face morphed into one that actually worried and thought. Hey, uh, you okay? Light Lightning muddled softly, a small smile on his face. He was hoping that Brick would just stay happy the rest of the night when he finally got him smiling, but I guess that would be too easy. 
Lightning bit his lips as he went to set up. Brick, uh, if you want, we could, well... Actually, we could head back to the cabin. Sam, Don, and Joe are really worried about... Lightning, do you actually still like me? Lightning snapped his head back at Brick, the shorter boy looking down at the ground with a worried expression. Lightning blinked before it, chuckling nervously. What? That That's a weird question, isn't it? We should head back to the... <laughs> Lightning, please. Brick's eyes slowly filled with tears again, wiping his face angrily. Look, I just want to make sure it's all out. I... Brick huffed. I... I know that you know how I feel about you. You you watched the same tape I did, Rick said, his face shaking as he tried to keep his tone even. I just want to know if you actually want anything to do with me. If you aren't just being nice for now, af after that, you don't have to. You know, it's fine. At least be honest with me, and I won't bother you again. There it is, the question that was out in the open now. And Lightning didn't know how to answer it. He didn't know how exactly to feel about Brick. None of these feelings were bad or anything. Were bad or anything that Lightning to stay away from Brick. They were just so confusing. Lightning uh, knew already that maybe, just maybe, he also liked guys. The thought had crossed his mind once or twice back home, and he already knew that he thought Brick was alright. Sure, he's very military cent centered. And he gets up early a lot, which goes on very long rants. But those traits are enduring in their own ways. Brick's eyes practically lit up whenever they were able to help his team. His ex he gets ex this excited look whenever he thinks that he has a chance of teaching others about something he's learned at his weird military camp. And his rants were just something to be passionate about. Most of them being about teamwork and sticking together and how important it is. Honestly, Brick, uh, Lightning can see the appeal in Brick. Hell, he can even see it now. Brick, I... Lightning took a breath, sitting back down. I do want something to do with you. What, do you think I'd run off and... Shit. <laughs> what, do you think I'd... I'd run off or punch you when I saw that? He trailed off, watching his Brick curled into himself. Lightning frowned. Brick, I wouldn't have done that, he said, his face full of confidence, because he wouldn't, would never do that. Sure, it was shocking, but it wasn't anything bad. Brick nodded. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know you, he sniffled, shaking his head to himself. It's dumb, I just... Brick huffed, obviously trying to find the right words. For the first time in maybe his entire life, Lightning waited patiently for Brick to find the words. Where I'm from, especially when you're from a military background, Brick stated, started, being gay isn't something my folks would think fondly of. Hell, that confessional tape wasn't even going to be aired. Hopefully Chris isn't that, hopefully isn't that cruel. He sighed, raking a, ha a hand through his buzzed hair. I didn't think you'd hate me. I just I just thought maybe you'd want to be away from me. I thought you'd stop talking to me because it would be awkward and you'd think being around me is weird and I couldn't... Brick cut himself off taking a deep breath. If you avoid me instead of hating me, I don't think I could take it. Lightning sat in silence as he ran through Brick's words again and again. Finally, he spoke. To be honest, Brick House... I don't think Lightning can avoid you, and if I tried, he said with a smile. I wouldn't try, and if I did, I couldn't. You're like, like a, um, Lightning Blink. What are those things, things that you put in the fridges? They're like a science thing. They attract to metal stuff? Brick blinked. You mean a magnet? Yeah, that thing, a magnet. <laughs> Lightning said excitedly, you're like a magnet, and... Lightning's like some kind of hunk of metal. Put you near me, and I just come right back to you. Lightning said, smiling wildly at his comparison. You're a really good person, Brick. I've been like... It's been like three days, and I know it's... I've been kind of a dick to you for two and a half of them. But I'd say you're my closest friend here. Lightning said, noticing 
Rick winced slightly at the wording, but looked happy nonetheless. Lightning felt his face flush a bit. Uh, well, maybe... He breathed in through his nose, clearing his throat. Maybe, uh, if you want, Lightning doesn't... I don't want to make you do anything. Up to you. Lightning stammered, gaining an eyebrow raise from Brick before he huffed softly. I would like... Lightning stated loudly, hoping that some... How being loud would make it easier to try going out with you. His fa entire face was flustered in a darker color, keeping his eyes open only to watch Brick's expression. It was obviously worth it to see Brick's face turn as red as Zoe's hair, his expression one pure shock. Really? Yes! Lightning said quickly, his throat clearing. Yeah, really, I... You don't... You already... No, I've never dated anyone before, so I can't say I'll be the best like I am at everything else. He joked, nervously laughing. But I want to get to know you better, and what's better way to, you know, than go on a date or two? And we're on the same team now, so... Brick could practically feel his heart skip a beat with a small smile Brick gave him. Yeah, yeah, that would I would really like that, Lightning. Sh yes Lightning cheered before realizing how loud he was and placing a hand over his mouth. I mean, yeah, that that's cool. He blushed as Brick was laughing again. Someone's excited, Brick teased, knowing full that he was just as excited as Lightning. It's exciting and nervous. I've never been on a date before, you know you know this. Lightning chuckled nervously before hearing something from the forest. We should head back. It's a miracle we haven't got shit eaten up here. Brick rose a brow before remembering where they were and immediately jumping to his feet. Yep, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go right now. Brick gripped Lightning's hand as they began to march out of the woods quickly. They walked in comfort silence for a while, Brick's mind racing, running m miles a minute, and his face is a soft pink. Lightning already seemed content with the silence smiling softly at their conjoined hands before a voice cut through the silence. There you are, you idiots! We've been looking for hours! Joy sprinted, Joe sprinted up to the two, breathing softly. She hopped before jamming a finger at Brick's chest. Don't ever run off like that again, all right? Your team was worried sick. Joe huffed, relieved to see that Brick wasn't dead or something. Brick <laughs> saluted. Sorry, ma'am. I was having a small mental breakdown, but I'm fine now, ma'am. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a small mental breakdown. <laughs> a small mental breakdown? It won't happen again, uh, sir. <laughs> lightning nodded at this. Yeah, Lightning had to calm him down, dude. Joe blinked before sighing. Look, as long as you're not dead, I guess that's fine. Let's just head back as long before. As you're not dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess that counts. <laughs> as long as you're alive. You know, if, like, Chris came back and one of the campers was missing, he'd be like, Alright, new challenge. Whoever finds this missing guy gets to keep him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> dead or alive. We'll let you have a dead body as a as a contestant. That should be fine. <laughs> yep. All good. <laughs> they actually weren't too far from the camp, about five minutes since seeing Joe, and eventually came back to the mess hall. They passed by Don, who immediately ran up to Brick and smiled upon seeing him and Lightning's auras once more. Sitting in the mess hall steps were B- Oh, B's here? Okay. I, I, I thought he got eliminated. <laughs> right? B, Aunt Maria, Sam, Cameron, Zoe, and Mike. With Scott being absent, thank God. Sam was the first to notice their return. Brick house, sons of- What the fuck does that say? Orion? Orion? I was gonna say onion for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that you scared the hell out of us, dude, he said, jogging over to the small group with Aunt Maria and Zoe in tow. Don't do that shit again, all right? I stress spray when I'm nervous, and I went through five cans while you were gone, Aunt Maria whined as she stuck her hairspray back in her poof. Easy, cadets. I'm fine now. I just need to clear my head, that's all, Brick said, his voice shaky and still at that tone he uses as he addresses army shoulders. I'm just glad you're alright, Zoe explained. 
Don and Sam said you might be in the forest, and and we still don't know just how safe it is out there, especially after the last challenge, so... Mike placed a comforting hand on Zoe's shoulders. We're just glad you're safe, Brick. Brick smiled as he genuinely worried on his group's faces, clearing his throat. Yes, well, um, you can thank Lightning for that. He found me and helped me calm down, so... Brick said, pointing a finger towards Lightning, who was only brushing a darker color as he tried to splutter a reply. It was nothing, really. Lightning's the number one at calming people down. Lightning's confidence waned a little bit as he spoke, but he held a genuine bright smile on his face before it fell. He's also really good at beating up little rats. So, where's Scott? Brick flinched a bit as he looked around. Scott wasn't with everyone else, which was... Which isn't shocking, but where is he? Dirty boy's in his cabin. And Maria hissed. He kept saying that he was just he just happened to find the tape in Chris's camera room, which I don't believe for a second. Yeah, but then why would he put such a target on his back? Sylvie countered. That tape doesn't say confessional footage or anything. Maybe it was an honest mistake. Zoe frowned. Her op Mystic nature hoping that it was the case. Zoe, that's a bad decision. Don't do that. <laughs> right? Dumb. Like, could you be any more dumber? Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I mean, she can like, in all stars, but like. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Indeed. In the TV room, Mona and were jammed for a bit. Started Sam before Mike jumped in. The remote worked fine when I grabbed it from him, though. Maybe he was faking it. Brick was a little bit more than uncomfortable with this conversation happening right in front of him, so he decided to speak. Maybe we should talk about this later, he said hopefully. It's late. I don't think we should be. A loud metallic screech was heard from the PA system. Everyone once at the loud noise before a voice was heard. Attention campers, due to the, some unfortunate circumstances that have occurred today, We'll be having a little meeting bright and early tomorrow morning regarding a certain video that someone quote-unquote found. In the meantime, get some sleep. So should you, Brick? PA system shut off with a loud screech. The entire group silent. Joe groaned. Tomorrow's gonna be... Tomorrow's gonna fucking suck. <laughs> I like this. I wonder what fucking Chris is gonna make them do tomorrow. <laughs> Right, Are too. we on the last part? Okay, today this is the last part. Okay. A morning heart to heart. Oh, the still writing. Maybe maybe we can do like an update if they ever fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> keep writing. This shit's yeah. awesome. This is. I I I'm actually really enjoying this, honestly. Yeah, this is this is so much fun to read. <laughs> it really is. I keep getting fucking recommendations on the side right here. Oh my god. There's more Duncan stuff for me to read. More Duncan. <laughs> the next morning started early for Brick. As the cadet's as the cadet's fried nerves went one out over his intense want, want to go back to sleep. The events of last night weighed on him. His head swimming with thoughts. First off, Lightning was beyond upset at him for something he didn't think that he didn't think was that important. Then he came out to Sam. He, then he came out to Sam, made up with lightning, and, and even got closer to him. A decent yet rocky start to the day. I, until, until that video, that stupid video that he hoped he wouldn't, he wouldn't be seen by anyone but Chris. Scott, Scott, unintentional or not, had had out of him to the entire to the entire island, including his crush. One panic attack in the woods later, and now he has, now he has a maybe boyfriend. And and, me and meeting to go in a few hours. How lovely! Brick groaned as he sat up, sat up and rubbed his eyes. He he just wanted to get th get this over with and move on. He glanced around the room as he got dressed before his eyes landed on a lightning sleep on on the top bunk. One arm over his head as he snored peacefully. Brick smiled softly as a blush spread across his face. Would he would he have liked to come to come out of his own terms? Absolutely, he would. He would give anything to be able to come out to come out on his own terms, away from the cameras. But but now he can't, and he hates to say it. 
but he believes it's technically his own fault for letting it himself get so emotional in the confessional. But every cloud has a silver lining. Brick and Lightning had talked a bit more before they fell asleep. Brick was still jumpy at Lightning at Br Brick was still jumpy and Lightning felt felt bad that Brick couldn't sleep. Ma mainly they talked about their lives, their parents, their parents their parents' home lives and what they did and, and, and what and what they do with the million if they won. It was kind of sweet that Lightning would, would take the time to make Brick feel comfortable enough to try and get some sleep. Brick Brick, Brick contemplated what what walking walking the others but but decided against it. They they needed to they needed to rest and it was only seven twenty six. If 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 Brick's clock was correct, which which it always was, he checked. The cadet the cadet huffed to himself as he tried his shoes. His landing on Scott's across the room, sound sound asleep at as if that happened yesterday. Yesterday didn't happen. Brick, Brick didn't know what to think of Scott. Sure, maybe, just maybe, it was a freak accident that that Scott just, just so happened to find that that very second tape with Brick's very specific personal information. But but what if it wasn't? What what the hell was Brick supposed to think? That that his teammate could be so hateful to do something insensitive as Brick took it. Brick took a breath as he as he walked out of the cabin, worrying about it. Worrying about it right now is only going to stress, stress me out further. I I need to take a run. It was a routine thing he 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 used to do his 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 pack his uh, back home when, when when he was younger. A routine a routine that bleeds seamlessly into his day to day at boot camp as a way to work off nerves. Certainly. Certainly around, certainly helped around here. It just, it just felt nice to, to get out steam and calm his nerves before a challenge, even if it turned into a challenge itself. Now that Joe had started to join him, he was kind of hoping she wouldn't, she wouldn't today though. Rick held nothing against her, honestly. Sure, she was rude and cra and crass and commonly un unsportsmanlike, but, but she held a sense of leader, but she held a sense of leadership, Rick envied and respected. Like a rude older sister, but after but after last night, we 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 was just we was just scared to really see to really see most of the campers. They they seemed re they seemed really happy that he was fine, but he didn't know most of them on a personal level or anything. Brick ran out before the tape ended. He had no idea how they reacted. What if they had their own personal beliefs and are just being ni not nice or or tolerate for the time being? But if the other guys get uncomfortable around, around him that they that they know he likes guys. Zoe and Sam Zoe and Sam seem fine with it. But everyone else? Anne Maria? Mike? Cameron? B? Even Joe? Brick had no idea, and yeah, maybe he's overthinking, but yesterday he was a mess for everyone, and maybe now that everyone's calm calm and, and thought about it, they'll see what a loser he is and, and how and, and how gross he is and everything will be just like just, just like it wasn't boot camp all over again. Damn, that's Brick, so. Brick for brains. Hey, I'm talking to you. Brick nearly toppled over himself as he zoned back, that as he zoned back into the world ar around him with a jolt. He quickly regained his he he quickly rega regained his pace as he, as he as he looked towards the voice right beside him. Oh, uh, Joe. Hi. The chocolate rolled her eyes rolled her eyes a bit as she kept up with him. I've I've been running ne I've been running next to you. For like a full minute, she complained. What? What did your? What did your ears get get clogged from all the cotton in them? <laughs> very funny. My ears are clean and cotton free. Thank you very much. Brick, Brick huffed as his as his ears turned red. I was just thinking. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Doing that for the first time can be real hard. <laughs> oh my or, God, Joe! <laughs> before she frowned. About about what Brick house? Brick, Brick sighed, his face stuttering a bit. The the the, 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 me, the meeting, the meeting, the the one we got later today. You want me to take over? Okay. Okay. Joe winced a little at the reminder, looking forward instead of at Brick. Yeah, no, I um, I get it. She said sincerely. I I'm really sorry about what happened or what happened, by the way. Brick turned his head to look at her. 
What that little rat did wasn't cool, even by my standards. Joe patted. I play hard, and I fight a little underhanded, but that? That's fucking low. He's lucky he's still walking and breathing right now. Brick blinked at the jock before smiling. Well, thank you, Joe. That's, that means a lot. He sighed. Not much I can do now about it, though. You all saw the tape, lightning especially, and now we have a meeting to, to go to talk about it. Joe clicked your tongue. He pace, His pace quickened. Could also beat him up. I'm not beating up Scott. <laughs> Brick deadpanned. We're still not sure if he did it on purpose or not. And besides, if he did, I'm being the bigger person here. Joe's smug smirk fell, rolling her eyes. Yeah, well, you can be the bigger person all you want. I might still want to beat him up myself. Ever think of that? She growled, earning a bottle eye roll from the cadet. If some asshole added me like that, I wouldn't... I would have globbered them like I did at school. Grow growled, which caused Brick to blink. How did you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Brick raised it. Joe, Joe raised it a brow. Isn't it obvious I'm lesbian? <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Brick's, Brick's eyes widened a bit as he ground his jogging to a halt. Actually, he started blinking rapidly. No, not very much. It wasn't very obvious. Joe snuffled a, a laugh at the decoration. My god, seriously? I was checking out Anne-Marie the whole boat ride here. I, I talk about her on our runs? Rick felt his face light heat up as he laughed. You think I noticed you staring at Anne-Marie while lightning's right next to her? Plus, you mainly complain about her. Thought you hated her. That's my way of saying she's hot. It, I, I was so obvious. <laughs> well then, how how'd you not clock I was gay? I thought I, I was being too obvious. Apparently not. You're a full military school brat. Military school is a breeding ground for repressive homosexuality. I'll have you know. <laughs> Joe crackled loudly, so much so that she kneeled down to breathe. Oh my god, oh my god, are we this oblivious? She crackled, watching Brick also tumble over, laughing as how ridiculous this was. He sniffled through the laughter, holding his hand out. This is truly gay lesbian solitarity. <laughs> <laughs> Brick giggled before Joe smacked his hand away. I love, I love, like, the sibling dynamic we're getting with both of them. Absolutely. In the, in the weirdest way, but we I got there. It. I love it. Ah, shut, shut it. She yelped, taking a deep breath and sighing. Oh, man, this is stupid. She said, panting, oh, patting Brick's shoulder as he went through the last of his giggles. But I needed that. Looks like you did too, Brickhouse. Joe smiled, a genuine smile, not a sly smirk. Or anything even remotely similar to what Joe had that he knew not even 24 hours ago. Listen, I'm not good at this whole emotional, frill, felt heart stuff. Never have been. But I'm saying this because you need it. And because I know that Chris ain't gonna air this since we aren't at each other's throats right now. Because that's what he's interested in. Frick nodded. Fair. Joe nodded curtly. But this thing, you're not alone here. That's super cheesy, and if you tell anyone that, I will throw you into the ocean. But it's true. You got me, to an extent. You got Aura Whisperer, Couch Potato. And hell, from what I saw last night, I assume you got Lover Boy Lightning wrapped around your finger. She said, Brick earning a full blush at the last comment. This isn't the end of the world is what I'm saying. It sucks. It's horrible. But you're a tough guy. This doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like you're gonna go easy on you in challenges or anything just because we we had a dumb little heart to heart. We are on different teams now, but I'm in your corner. Brick smiled softly, his eyes gaining a white flash to them as he shook Joe's hands once more. Thank you, cadet. It means more, more to me than you ever know, and I have... 
and I'll have to have someone like you in my corner. He sighed deeply for smirking. But I am going to beat you and win the million, he said as he took off running. <laughs> That's what you think, you bastard. Get back here. Joe growled, <laughs> the two chuckling as they began their run again. Oh, oh that, that, that was such a wholesome moment right there. Absolutely. I, <laughs> I really I want them to update now. Like, <laughs> I wish this like, actually happened. Like, all this. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know why it took us so long to get, like, LGBT representation in this show, but this, this is what we needed. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of like, This is beautiful. Absolutely. I really want to know what the next chapter will be if they do update. Yeah, same. I, I'm so... I'm genuinely curious, actually. Like... Yeah, I want to know where the plot goes. <laughs> yeah, me too. I love this. I lo I really enjoyed this, honestly. Damn, my expectations were like nothing. I hadn't. Same. <laughs> but now I'm like, I really want to see what happens. Same I'm gonna add here. this. <laughs> like I am super intrigued now. I'm gonna read this. I gotta add this to my page as well. Yes. This is awesome. Dude, we gotta read the next one when it updates. <laughs> yes, we should. We Absolutely. Totally all right, I think that I think that summarizes what we think. <laughs> that this yeah. is like a work of art. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Damn, we gotta find more like this, like some obscure Ew. thing that we like that we think like it's gonna be a shit post, but it's actually like super good. <laughs> super good, yeah. Oh, um, like, really just... well written. What what other cur we could read a Dawn X Scott, but I feel like I couldn't Dawn do that Scott, to my yeah. skull. <laughs> Absolutely. I did read one, but it like takes place after Revenge of the Island. Yeah. But. Oh, okay. But I definitely recommend if you guys want to, please go down to the description below and check out the original work and support the creator. They were awesome at yes. writing this, and please because, do not like, harass. They deserve, it. <laughs> they deserve it so much. Absolutely. Honestly. But thank thank you again, Kenzie, for joining me on this one. This was fantastic to read. Yes, thank you for really showing fun. me I this really, masterpiece. I really enjoyed it. Hey, hopefully we'll have a new book for the next book club meeting. But yes, <laughs> but we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye.